two of my absolute favorite, most powerful superfoods in existence, without a doubt, are spirulina and chlorella. So I brought on my friend, Catherine Arnston, who specializes in this exact topic. We had a wonderful discussion on the podcast. She delivered so much value, and I wanted to share some of that in this little clip with you right here. Uh, so enjoy this clip. Also, I highly recommend checking out the full length podcast by clicking the link in the description down below. Enjoy. Two of the most common strains of microalgae are blue green algae and green algae. And one strain of blue green algae is spirulina and one strain of green algae is chlorella. And I point this out and I stress this because some people will go to the internet and they'll you know, Google blue green algae and they'll see something about a blue green toxic algae bloom in the beaches of blah, blah, blah. And then they'll panic and think, well, I can't use spirulina. No, 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 no. That's that, as I said, there's tens of thousands of strains of blue green algae. The one we're gonna talk about, which is spirulina and the other one is chlorella are harvested as food crops. They are not from the ocean. Algae is probably the only food I can think of, the only crop I can think of that is it's better when it's harvested instead of rot, um, out in the wild. And I'm gonna show you a picture. This is a picture of a, a spirulina farm. And I, I point this out because also a lot of people think that um, algae, when, when you see it in, in our, on our website or anywhere, they're, they're you know, often in little tablets or, or powder, they think it's a, um, a supplement and it's not a supplement. Supplements are made from extracts with high heat in factories. And algae is grown as a vegetable, no different than kale or broccoli. Um, and we don't use high heat when we dry it. So it's a raw food. Um, it's also vegan and ketogenic. So, so it's just a dried vegetable, <laughs> except it's got a thousand times more nutrition than any other vegetable. So I just want to put that in context that it's everywhere. And the two that we're talking about are the two that are harvested as food. Uh, in Japan, they don't leave their house without taking chlorella. Uh, you know, we all take supplements and everything. They don't take supplements in Asia. They only take chlorella algae. And you're going to find out why, because it's, it's a, a wellness algae. It builds your immune system, uh, pulls out toxins, and, and improves your longevity. But let's, let's talk about spirulina first, because it's the one most people know about, and it was the first one here. Um, now, uh, as I mentioned, it's a blue-green algae, and spirulina has been known for years, decades, for being an energizing, nourishing algae. And the reason for that is that it has the highest concentration of protein in the world. It has 18 of the 20 amino acids, including all the ones that your body can't make. So it's a complete protein. And this is pretty important because uh, a lot of people who are maybe vegan or vegetarian are not eating meat. And so um, they're often having to mix things like beans and rice to get complete protein. Algae is a complete protein, which is actually in contrast to collagen powder, which has become quite popular. It's an incomplete protein because it's missing the tryptophan. So anyways, I point that out because not only does spirulina have the highest protein in the world, uh, all of which are in uh, single amino acids, it gets into your bloodstream very quickly because interestingly, spirulina is actually a bacteria. It has no cellulose wall or nucleus. The reason why that's important is that it's, there's nothing for your body to break down to get access to all the nutrients in it, including those rich aminos. Spirulina is also loaded with B vitamins, which are the uh, what convert the glucose and in this case, amino acids into energy. Um, when we first started, we were actually uh, became a, a sports nutrition product because the runners, the triathletes, the marathon, the Olympic athletes found out that how much not only physical energy they got, but the focus, it helps with your mental focus. And they weren't expecting that. Um, and that it didn't upset their stomach like all the other you know sports products did like Gator, sorry, I shouldn't mention any names, but the things that are sugar and carb based because they cause cramping and diarrhea when you're in the midst of a sport. So anyways, back to spirulina, high in protein, high in B vitamins, loaded with ion, ion, iron, which carries oxygen in your blood. And that what, that's, um, also gives you energy, both mentally and physically. It has a lot of essential fatty acids, uh, a little bit of omega-3, but uh, a lot of something called GLA, which is gamma linoleic acid which behaves like an omega-3 because in our case, at least in our algae it does because it's not processed with heat. 
Now, um, so it reduces inflammation just as well as omega-3 does. Uh, and the only other place that has more GLA than spirulina is mother's breast milk. And the reason why there's so much of it in mother's breast milk is because it's critical for your, your brain health and your brain development. Of course, the baby's brain doubles and triples in size in the first couple of years. So that and the fact there's boron, which uh, helps with synapses and coordination and mental thought. And it's a vasodilator, which opens up your blood vessels. It's got 40 vitamins and minerals, all of the electrolytes. So again, very nourishing, fills almost all nutritional gaps. Uh, and because of that high protein, it um, gives you, and the B vitamins gives you energy mentally and physically. Uh, a lot of people use it for intermittent fasting because it's ketogenic. There are zero carbs um, uh, and, or even weight loss or, or meal replacement, uh, certainly before any kind of workout. Um, that's why we recommend the spirulina in the morning or the afternoon or before a workout because it satisfies your hunger. It gives you instant energy, easy to digest. It's safe for babies, newborns, grandparents, pets, uh, there isn't one con negative outcome uh, uh, documented about spirulina in the 80 years that has been carefully documented. And by the way, and I know this was your opening question about the science, there's virtually 100,000 studies on the two algae, spirulina and chlorella, about 60,000 on spirulina and all of its health benefits. Um, that's a big number. I mean, you know, that's not five or 50 or 500 or 5,000. That's a big number, like 50 or 60,000 is, is almost, it makes the, you realize that the, the science uh, makes the benefits that we're re you know, referring to today almost irrefutable. The only problem is the scientists like to talk to other scientists and um, the science has not made its way out into the public. and. Um, that's what I do very well. And it's all, I used to regret, it took me so long to get the company going because I don't have a science background. I, I'm pretty much self-taught, um, but you know, I feel like I've got a PhD in algae because I'm so determined to help people understand why this stuff works so well. Um, so the fact that I don't have a science background has allowed me to back into the science, which I love reading, and then I reinterpret it in a way that makes it easy for the average person to understand because uh, mm -hmm. not everybody's gonna be as passionate about digging into the science as I am. But yeah. uh, spirulina could be an a easy addition to every single person's diet without any effort. And I'm gonna show you something. These are the little, we sell ours in little tablets and you can find them other places too. The dark one, darker one is, is spirulina because it has two pigments in it, chlorophyll and a blue one called phycocyanin. And the other one is chlorella, which is just uh, has just the chlorophyll. So you can see the two, the differences in the two of them. But each one of these tablets has so much nutrition in it, look how tiny they are, that it has the same nutrition as an entire plate of vegetables. And I got into algae because as I, after I graduated from the Institute of Inter Integrative Nutrition and I, I taught nutrition for a year and I trying to get people to eat more vegetables. And I realized I wasn't telling them anything that they didn't already know. Our mothers have been telling us to eat our veggies since we were kids, right? Um, <laughs> But what I found out, it was just too much work for people. They're so busy, vegetables weigh a lot to carry home. The kids wouldn't eat them, their husbands wouldn't eat them. And it was just too much work, it took too long to cook, to clean, to eat. So, you know, fast forward to algae, each one of these tablets, I have a quote from NASA that says, algae has a thousand times more nutrition than any other fruit or vegetable, one to a thousand. So each one of these tablets has the same nutrition as an entire plate of vegetables, except no work. Yeah. One and done. You know, most people swallow them, but I, I like to chew them. <laughs> so I am very, very excited to be able to help people get the nutrition that they need without any work. At least the green nutrition. Well, it's more than green nutrition. It's protein. And I was recently on um, um, Dr. Stephen Gundry's uh, podcast. And um, he's, a, he, you know, he was, he's been very supportive of algae for a while as well, because he, like me, found out that there's no lectins or oxalates in algae because it's not technically a plant. It's not a land-based plant. So, and there's virtually no fiber. There's no fiber in spirulina and only a small amount in chlorella. So a lot of people have problems with fiber. A lot of people have problems with lectins and oxalates. You know, problem solved. Um, algae is your, your go-to. Hey, this is Ari. I hope you enjoyed this little clip. And if you want to listen to the full length podcast, the link for that is down in the description below. Also, one more thing before you go, I want to mention, in case you don't already know about it, our formula Energenesis. This is an amazing product. 
that has multiple compounds in it that are scientifically proven in numerous studies to increase your energy levels, not just by, you know, 3% or 5% or 10% by, but by 30 or 40 or 50% in a very, very short time frame. So one of these compounds that I'll mention here is called NT factor phospholipid. And it is a, an extract of phospholipids that comes from lecithin. And they extract the pure phospholipids from this, things like phosphatidylcholine, phosphatidylethanolamine, and many others. And these are the same uh, fatty acid compounds, phospholipid compounds, that compose our uh, cell membranes and mitochondrial membranes. And this specific patented formula has been shown actually to enter into the, the bloodstream uh, un, undigested, basically, without being broken down and denatured through the digestive process in the stomach and the intestines. It makes it into the bloodstream and actually makes it all the way to our cells and to our mitochondria where it helps repair damaged mitochondrial membranes and facilitates our mitochondria functioning better. Now, all of that sounds like wonderful theory, uh, and it sounds like it could be beneficial, but the real test is, has it actually been studied and been proven to increase your energy levels? And the answer is yes, absolutely. There are numerous studies uh, outlined in a wonderful paper by the scientist, a scientist named Garth Nicholson, uh, in a paper called Lipid Replacement Therapy. I highly recommend checking this out if you're interested in digging into the research. But this compound has been studied in the context of multiple different kinds of chronic fatigue. Uh, Aging-related chronic fatigue, obesity-related chronic fatigue, uh, obscure things like Gulf War illness, and numerous studies in chronic fatigue syndrome. And there are studies showing that this has the capability. They've taken one study, in fact, actually showed that in elderly adults over the age of 65, it restored their mitochondrial health, which had deteriorated uh, heavily. It restored it to the level of healthy 29-year-olds, believe it or not. And they've actually measured energy levels in these people. And all of these studies across the board show improvements in energy of at least 25% and typically more like 35 to 45% in just the span of between four to 12 weeks. That's how long all of these studies are, four to 12 weeks. They're showing dramatic, huge improvements in energy levels by helping to repair these mitochondrial membranes through this thing called lipid replacement therapy using, again, this patented form of a phospholipid extract called NT factor. This is just one of about 20 ingredients proven to benefit mitochondrial health that you'll find in my formula energenesis so i strongly encourage you if you are struggling with your energy levels if you're dealing with chronic fatigue go grab yourself a bottle or three of this or subscribe and save um, try it out you are going to be blown away by the results we get so many testimonials we get so many emails from people talking about how this one thing has transformed their lives. So I cannot encourage you strongly enough to give this a shot. And it, let's say you buy three bottles, um, try out the first one, give it a month. And if you don't notice significant improvements, you can return the unopened bottles to us for a full refund. So give it a shot. I really think you're gonna be blown away by the results. The formula is called Energenesis and you can get it at theenergyblueprint.com or click the link below. So. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you again very soon.